to improve finishing on your top layer. What's up guys? On today's videos, I'm going to show you some impressive settings for you to improve the finishing on your 3D prints top layer, be it in plain or rounded surface. So let's start with the plain surfaces. Imagine you want to print a coaster, but the last layer is not looking nice and it's going to be visible, so it needs to, right? I printed a skull coaster to show you how apparent the last layer lines can look. Not cute. And if that pisses you off as much as it does to me, I'm going to give you some solutions. The first tip is print it upside down. That way, the side that's going to be visible will have the texture of your build plates. I printed two examples. One with the regular texture pay plate from Bamboo and another one with a sparkly glittery texture build plates and you can find lots of amazing build plates like this online for this task i use the tool lay on face you just have to select the surface you want to be in contact with the build plate and there you have it after printing it with different textures the result looks much much better regular texture pay plates and now sparkly glittery texture build plates it's a quick solution that'll make all the difference. Bonus tip. If you are printing thin pieces, you might want to let the build plate cool down before taking it off. Or you might end up bending the piece as I did here. Another option that's not very popular is the ironing function. As the name suggests, it is as if you went over the finished piece with a hot iron to smooth the surface of the last layer. Nozzle iron. With that option turned on, the printing process takes a little longer because the nozzle will go over the finished last layer very slowly. It is a valid solution, but to be honest, I prefer turning it upside down and using the tip one. On the first coaster, I printed with the school facing up, but it didn't turn out great because the top layer didn't fully fill in, leaving small gaps. The second school was printed with the face down, giving it the texture of the pay plate, which was a nice improvement. For the third school, well, I love it! I used the same technique of the second one, just flipping it face down and it ends up with the texture of the glitter build plate. Very cool. And for the fourth school, I used the ironing option, which is not my favorite, but it improved quite a bit compared to the first one. By the end of the video, I wanted to know which tip you liked the best. Moving on, the ironing function is great for plaques with an embossed effect. I tested printing a plaque with no ironing and with irony only on the letters. And if you think there's too many gaps, you can set it so the nozzle releases a little bit more filament during the irony if you want to. Now let's talk round surfaces. I know you've already tossed a file on the slicer, created it however, and it turned out all ugly finishing. For rounded objects, the default infill pattern monotonic line leaves out horrible layered lines, especially on bamboo printers. For that, the tip is very simple. Just change the pattern for monotonic line to concentric. Easy fix. I tried both on Dodo and this Dino, and the difference is jarring. Both look so much better now. So we which setting did you prefer? Leave in the comments. And that's it for today, guys. If you liked it, leave a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more tips like this. And I will see you next time. Boo-boo!